All right, so we're back. Um, we're, we were looking at this Dell 11 Inspiron uh, 3195, which is new for this year in 2019. And what we're going to do is upgrade this uh, laptop. Uh, but before we do that, let's just kind of review what it has. Um, so it's Windows 10. In S mode, we'll change that to the normal mode. It has 4 gigs of RAM. We're going to upgrade that with this uh, memory stick. It's from Crucial. It's an 8, 8 gig uh, DDR4, 2400 sodium. Uh, yeah, so we're going to replace the RAM. It only has one slot. Uh, and although we cannot upgrade the, the storage, we've added an SD card. Uh, but we can talk about that later. Um, but yeah, let's. Oh, also, if you run the AMD Radeon settings, it is showing. Um, can I zoom in? No, I can't. It's showing that there's eight megs of uh, video memory and four gigs of system memory. So let's see if that video memory will go up, because. Think that because that's shared, right? Uh, yeah. So what we want to do then is before we start everything is to shut down the computer. And while it's doing that, um, let's get prepare our tools here. Our okay, screwdriver. The RAM is here. I think. Okay, we'll use this Pringles cap as a place to put our screws actually let's move this away alright and then let's flip it upside down and what we have are how many screws? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 screws uh, we got the screwdriver here let's just Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Since we have an SD card here, let's go pull it out. We don't want it to get caught in something. Uh, so let's put that aside. And yeah, we should just be able to remove this cover. Alright, now we can get the rest of the screw that's kind of stuck. Alright, so what we have here is a lot of empty space. See this massive space here? That's where the hard drive is supposed to be. But what's in the memory is in, in this underneath this copper uh, Part here. So, all right. So let's go remove some more screws. Just watch out. There's a tape here. So tape here. Now let's go open it this way. Alright, so that's the tape. Um, yeah, so this is basically the heatsink. Uh, as you can see, the CPU is, is right here, and that's the memory. So, there, is there a plastic thing there? Oh, there is. So, there's, there's a film on top of it. Um, it's You don't need to remove that, uh, you can just kind of flip it up. Uh, it up a little bit um, yeah so what you need to do then is I'm touching some metal here all right so what you need to do is do there are arms uh, holding in the ram just just push it out outwards and then you can pull it out so let's put that aside for now Let's go put this in. Um, 
Uh, I bought this from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, but yeah, so it always goes one way. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's slide that in. Try not to touch anything else. So. Alright, so and now when you slide it in, it's kind of uh, angle like this and you just basically push it down and then you're in. Uh, well, while it's open, let's go take a look. Like I said, there's a massive empty space here. The CPU is right here. Um, you can see the ports, the HDMI, USB 3.1 and SD card is is right on this on the board here there's a secondary board on on the other side here for the USB 2.0 ports uh, and the um, headset jack the battery is is here it's a 28 watt hour battery uh, lithium polymer 7.6 volts interesting okay they could have made this battery bigger by occupying this empty space where the harder used to be and as you can see there are no ports there are there aren't any SATA ports to to put in like a traditional SSD drive there um, but yeah you know what let's close it up and let's see if it's gonna boot up hopefully it does because I just bought this Let's put the tape back here like this. Alright, so let's just do a boot test by closing this but not screwing it up yet. And screwing it down yet. And just flip it all over. You can put back our SD card. Nothing was But it was it wasn't it was actually nothing. It didn't go into the slot and it's oh damn it. Alright, so we managed to take out this tiny ass card <laughs> from there. It, it was it was basically went underneath the board and I just kind of poke it out somehow anyways uh, let's just close this up without completely screwing it yeah see the Dell signal all right so now it's it noticed a memory change it's like it says warning memory change um, well, well, let's go look at the bio setup and see what it does. Oh yeah, system memory. Uh, there you go. System memory, 8192 megabytes. So, alright, uh, so let's just uh, exit discard changes. We didn't do any changes. Alright, so while it's doing that, let's just close up everything. So let's look at that uh, AMD setting again. And see if our video memory went up. And look at our, system, our task manager here. Cool. Alright, so since we doubled our RAM and we were like hovering 20, 50 something percent. On idle now on idle we are at 25 percent as you can expect um, much more headroom uh, definitely uh, all right so let's look at the system settings here sweet so now what we have is 
8 gig system memory and memory size video memory size is 512 megs that's a big difference compared to 80 megs so obviously it's not going to be a gaming beast but there's going to be definitely some noticeable improvements for sure all right so that's 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 so we just upgraded the ram it didn't take that long we'll put the old ram in the other, the other case right here close that up put that aside all right so i've been talking about the sd card but so yeah as you can see um the sd card is fairly flush i, I would say that's about like one and a half millimeters it barely sticks out. Another option you can do to supplement your storage is to use uh, a USB drive here but obviously that's going to stick out much more regardless of whatever you get. Like the slip, you can get the smallest one, it's not going to be as flush as as that. You barely see that. Um, obviously there'll be this SD, SD card is going to be a little bit slower than the USB flash drive but I was writing to this uh, more than I've seen speeds of more than 420 megs per second should be fine and what you can do once you have an SD card in there is to use that as your as the location for your downloads and to do that it's pretty easy all you need to do is let's you know um, on the right here your downloads folder right click that properties uh, and then look at the locations tab and you see I've moved the location to my D drive and yeah and then to do that you just click this move button and when you do that it'll ask you where you want to put it and then I've, I've done that to the downloads folder to the music folder the videos folder, pictures, well, actually not pictures, but yeah, I, I, I don't want to do it for other ones, like I kept that desktop and documents as is because uh, that is being synced to OneDrive or back to OneDrive, so, you know, keep that where it is, uh, if, you yeah, know, later on I might change it, anyways. Um, interestingly enough, since we upgraded the RAM, uh, our our C drive went down from just under 28 now it's just under 26 it may seem odd but basically what happened is uh, paging so paging what when 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 you go to sleep uh, your la I mean the laptop when when the laptop goes to sleep it needs to dump all the data from memory into into the hard drive right so that you can re retain that state when you boot up again uh, since we have a bigger RAM you'll need a bigger a size for the pager the page p bigger page size and and that's why our storage went down So anyways, so with that uh, aside, what we want to do next is to change from S mode to standard home uh, mode. And it's pretty easy. You, you, all you need to do is basically just turn on the settings, uh, I mean go to the settings and then uh, you type in find the setting for S mode. And then when you type S mode, what you what what will be uh, available is switch out of S mode here. So you click that. If you could use the touch screen, you know, switch to Windows 10 Home. Uh, go to the go to the store to switch to Windows 10 Home. All right, let's go do that. Uh, Now it switch out of S mode, it tells you S mode and then switch out. So get. 
Alright, let's do that. Apparently, once you do this, there is no turning back. Um, so, it says it's working on it. You're all set. Uh, and that's it. We are now not in S mode. So, looking at the information here, Windows 10 Home. So, we're not in S mode anymore. So, cool. Alright. That's good. So, that was pretty easy. I was expecting it to take longer than that, but it didn't. And, is it? Am I. Does it feel like it's f faster? Okay, it feels a little bit snappier. Uh, before it was kind of like uh, taking some time, but yeah, I think it's it's. Well, it'll be more obvious once you start doing more stuff uh, at the same time uh, when you're browsing multiple tabs and, and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think it's pretty good. Oh, forgot. One one more thing you might want to do um, obviously you can add more space but what you can also do is free up some space uh, well since you know I mean they laptops tend to have things installed uh, by default and it's just so what we can do is uninstall some application that we don't need uh, especially bigger ones so uh, let's see what we have here so there's a few apps that I didn't install that was already on here um, that you know probably we want to remove so for example Candy Crush no tech that's, I think we need that Spotify Candy Crush another Candy so we'll just uninstall those uh, since we, you know, we're not going to use it, not in this computer at least. Uh, Alright, I think we're, we're good. Um, yeah, so that's just another way of uh, freeing out more space. Um, did it actually uninstall it? Okay, so we cleared about a gig of space. Uh, it's good. That's, that's yeah. Alright, so, well, that's it. That's that's how you would upgrade your Dell uh, laptop. And it's pretty easy and uh, I hope you found that insightful. Thank you.